Article 38, the, the East Street Warren article. Is there any discussion? Do I have a motion to either uh, support um, Article 38 or not to support Article 38? I, I think it needs to be looked at more. I think, um, I don't know the legal aspect of, of squatters' rights. Um, if someone's paying taxes on property over the years, they're paying for that property. I don't understand where this has come from. And, and I'm sorry, I should know more about it, but I don't. That, um, that, um, it seems to go back a long time. When was East Street? 118 years. 118 years. A lot has happened in 118 years. You know, I when I bought my property, my property was built before Hampton Beach Improvement Company came into existence. But I, I paid Hampton Beach Improvement um, fees every year. And, and, and no one could explain to me and no one could find any information why I was paying that if my property was there before they came into existence. So there's got to be something somewhere. I get calls all the time about in 1907 and 1914 did the village district adopt RSA, blah, 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 RS, and no one can find any of this stuff. So somewhere along the line there was a handshake made, a deal made. With, so until more can be figured out about this, it, it, it really, uh, it, I really have a hard time for us taking a stand on this particular article either way. So unless you guys can enlighten me on it and tell me more about it, I don't know. Well, one, one of the things, and let, let me reference, because it was referenced by Mr. Preston, the Salopoli situation. We have not heard from Mr. Lopoli in quite a while now uh, with regard to whatever plans he might have. Um, we do have, we know that there are other property owners besides South that ha has a, a certain share of that casino block. Um, I have not heard um, from any of them publicly on whether or not this is uh, uh, an impact on them. Um, I, I will say that, um, you know, if this was a major concern uh, of theirs, that y you would have thought that we would have heard something, but we didn't. Um, I did uh, make a, a visit to the town manager, um, <coughs> and as uh, Mr. Preston indicated, that, you know, um, Fred saw this as a housekeeping uh, type of uh, Warren article that needed to be cleaned up. Um, and since they did, they did discover it, um, that um, something had to be done. And when I said, well, what impact will, if, if you don't give E Street away, uh, what's the impact on the owners of the casino block? And Mr. Welch said that they would uh, not be eligible for any type of permitting, planning, zoning, any changes that would have an impact of where that land is, uh, where that street is. So if they had to get something, say, right in the middle of the casino, where E Street is, uh, that they needed some type of permit, that they would not be able to get a permit because it would be considered town property. That's his take uh, of, of the issue. Um, I um, is that with town council? That's that that, that was town council. I mean, that's that. my my sense is that anything that Fred is saying on this topic has already been cleared through town council. Um, I don't know, Rick. During the discussions, when the, the board of selectmen uh, were were reviewing some of these warrant articles, if they had any opinion one way or the other. Um, in terms of voting yes or no. Um, but, you know, I'm, to be very honest with you, I'm, um, 
I'm almost at a point where, unlike Chuck, I think we don't have enough information uh, to uh, vote. Uh, not, uh, I mean, for the for the town to ask the town and the town voters to vote on this, um, and then if if it's unclear, then maybe let it sit for another year until further discussion could take place, um, rather than you know giving that that street away. Um, I don't know all of the details. Um, but I'm just, I'm, I'm real reluctant on, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to vote next Tuesday on this item. So saying that, the board, uh, the commission does have the, the right to um, not take a stand on this article. Um, or you could take a stand one way or the other. Um, Rick? I'm almost positive what I'm about to say is is true, and not that this has anything, it's not exactly the same, but it does give a different perspective. Uh, one area where I've seen nothing go, I mean, for 118 years they've been paying the taxes on it. Um, but over there was some land there at, where the galley hatch is, where they ended up purchasing it. They weren't paying the taxes on it, on that land. You know, the, they all through the years that they, they weren't being taxed, that was just town land, no one's paying any taxes on it. And so they were able to buy it, and it was really at, um, it was a deal, basically, you know, that it was under, it, it, it wasn't what the land was appraised at. It was quite a bit different, a small number. Um, I mean, there's a lot of different ways that you could look at it. First of all, I don't, I've wondered, what, but I don't know the answer to it. Um, maybe this is why Mr. Lapoli is not moving forward. Maybe he realized this somewhere along the line. I, maybe he didn't realize it when he bought it. Um, and so maybe that's what's holding him up. Um, I don't know. Um, and the selectmen have never met with Mr. Lapoli mm -hmm. either. Um, he has only come, from what I understand, and talked to the town manager and um, department heads some of the department heads um, and uh, the thing the ultimate thing is if there was a street there there would never be any tax money being paid and there's going to obviously be something really big there uh, at some point and there's going to be a lot of tax revenue for the town and it's you know just like all taxable land and buildings and that it's like an annuity they'll be paying it forever for the next hundreds of years. So uh, I don't think, I believe the selectmen are supporting this. So. Okay. Any other commission comments? Charlie, I'll just let you say one thing. I mean, if, if please don't okay. repeat yourself from. Nope. Uh, just a clarification. I, I think Chuck had a good um, comment. Well, he wasn't sure, but my understanding is from the town manager that adverse possession does not come into this equation because of the fact that you cannot adverse possess municipal land. That's right. So, okay, Frank, Fran's in agreement that, and I, I can give you a website if you want to see the manager say it. And, and basically, I, I implore you to, to take a stand against this because it's not, this year's not the time. You guys have all worked really hard and you deserve more respect for the work you do. Thank you very much for your time. And I'm gonna. I want to throw one more thing. I'm sorry. Um, so, on property that I know of, on the beach, uh, the deeds weren't pretty accurate in the day, and someone might have gone three feet onto the town land on, on one side, and they, they they're basically grandfathered in. But if their property burns down, that is they're known that that is town land, so they have to move their building. If that is, is that would be the case, right? Right. So. If they build this monstrosity and uh, something at the casino and it burns down, then you're telling me that there could be a, 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 a road right between the middle of this building. Um, I, I, I don't know how we can, as a board, approve or disapprove this without having a some type of, not just town council, but some type of maybe a state decision on this property. Well, 
I don't think that I would want to take a, a statement either way against this at this point. I think that we've given Charlie the opportunity to express his opinion, and that has get, gotten out to the public through Channel 22. Um, I think over time, you know, Charlie mentioned all the families, the Deneens made substantial, you know, contributions and improvements to the beach. The, uh, well, I'll call it the Sharkey uh, group, you know, did it. Um, and then they went and, and sold it again. I mean, there were, there were, was real estate conveyances there that there were errors, errors and emissions insurance that something should have caught it if there was something else. You know, uh, maybe there was a handshake way back when, but that was, you know, it was 100 years ago. So it's, it's hard to say. So maybe, you know, there'll be a discussion, but I don't think it's anything that we're going to be able to solve. I would well, just have one comment on the value of the property. If, in fact, you can't get permits to improve it, would that not negatively affect the value of that property and ultimately the assessment of the property and the tax revenue from the property? I don't know the answer to that. Um, but it would sound that there would be some type of impact. Um, you know, the, the other thing, too, and, and, and once again, to make this a little bit more complicated, it was this commission, um, through um, Charlie's recommendation, that we try to explore with Sal about creating a, um, an exit lane um, out of that parking lot right across the street from Brown Ave so that um, people that were parking in the casino block um, could actually exit out of the beach very quickly rather than going up onto Ocean Boulevard or down on Ashworth Ave and up and around. So we created that idea that, gee, there could be an entrance way there. Now whether or not Sal or whoever might take over the casino block in, in years to come would ever give that consideration um, on their own, I don't know. Um, if the town actually has the street right there, um, that gives us access to a, a roadway, at least partial, um, of being able to exit out uh, on a town road out of that parking lot. Um, so, saying that, if I don't have any motion to either approve or uh, a motion to say yes or no, um, I'll just move on. Okay.